Showcase Live. I'm Tim Marshall, your host. We have a special guest here with us today. He's a musician, singer, songwriter, and also a student. We're going to welcome him to the show. John Leone. How are you, man? How are you doing, man? Good. Pleasure, pleasure to be here. Not much. Thank dude. you for finally getting down to the studio. Yeah, the yeah. It's awesome. This is such a cool setup. You guys got food and everything. Yeah, like, yeah, you don't mess around, right? Don't say we didn't feed you. No, oh, no, never. So never. Uh, tell us about what you're doing now. You're a musician. You just getting into the industry I'm right now? Just, I'm just starting, yeah. Mm -hmm. I, uh, I'm pretty much just following a passion at this point. Um, I can be a little impulsive, and I, I actually just signed up for classes last summer, two days before classes started, mm -hmm. and then uh, I went out a couple months later and just bought a ukulele and a keyboard, mm -hmm. just on a whim, just, you know, because why not? And uh, I got myself in a little bit of debt, but it was all worth it because I love music so much. I love being around all this stuff. So this is like, this is heaven to me, you know? Well, listen, nothing so. can replace live music. And that's what it's all about. Amen. We're here to present right. some yeah. of the greatest live uh, entertainment, especially in the Philadelphia and South Jersey area. Right, And right. locally. And um, you have a band that you brought with you here today. Tell yes. us about uh, your special guest. Yeah, uh, my buddy Matt, I've known him since kindergarten. He's uh, the bassist in the band, The Dead Flowers. And he and uh, the boys, they formed uh, at New Brunswick. Uh, they went to the same school. And uh, they started playing at uh, like in like basements, like underground kind of shows, and they slowly built a name for themselves. And now they're playing all over the tri-state area and Philly, and even up to New York. They had a couple of shows, I believe. So they came here and they're ready to rock and roll, man. Well, since they're kindergarten, right. you go way back. Huh? Yeah, yeah, about 20 years. Yeah, well, it's probably right. been about 20 years. Yeah, well, that's cool. Yeah. I right, want you uh, introduce the band. I know they're yeah they're antsy to play over mm -hmm. here. So uh, I guess guys, give it up for the Dead Flowers, baby. They're ready to right. rock and roll. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah, take it away, boys. What's up, we're the Dead Flowers and we play rock and roll. Thank you. 
another song called uh, So Damn Easy. This next one's called What's Your Name?
Harvey Showcase Live, Tim Marshall with my guest co-host, John Leone. And uh, we got special guests with us, the Dead Flowers. A round of applause for the band, ladies and gentlemen. Give it up for the Dead Flowers. All right. So uh, why don't we just uh, pass the mic around and uh, let you all introduce yourself and tell us what instrument you play. All right. Hey, I'm Matt. I play bass. I'm Mike. I play guitar at sing. What's up? I'm Zach. I play guitar. I'm Johnny. I play the drums. I'm Steven. I play keyboard. All right. Well, tell us what's in this name, The Dead Flowers. Uh, how did you come up with the name? Um, well, one of our uh, main influences is the Rolling Stones, and they have a song called Dead Flowers, so kind of got it from there. Um, they got their name from one of their favorite artists, so we kind of... I kind of thought we'd do like, the same kind of thing, a little like Hanson, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. what the, what's, the, what's the song about, uh, the Dead Flowers song, the Rolling Stones? Is there something that like clicked with you guys and you're like, I like this, we want to make this like our, our name? Like, I don't, I don't know, anything like specific? It's a super or? catchy song, you know? Like, just like, uh, it's just a jam? Yeah, you know? it's a really yeah. good song, like, the lyrics are awesome, and I don't know, it always made me like, kind of think of my parents and stuff, so. Cool, it's awesome. Just, like, it means a lot to me. Yeah, so, yeah. Pretty cool name, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, nice. All right, how did you guys get started? Um, well, me, Zach, and Mike are all, are all in the same fraternity. Um, <clears throat> we uh, all graduated from Rutgers, New Brunswick, so we kind of got our start up there. Uh, Johnny met Zach working at a liquor store down in South Jersey, which is where we're all from. And uh, yeah, Johnny said he wanted to be in the next Rolling Stones, and you know, as, little, as you know, Zach is, uh, was trying to do that, so here we are, all are together. And then we got Steve, came along a little later. Um, he's been playing in bands with us down in the basement of New Brunswick since we started out, so it just came, it was a natural fit. Nice, nice, nice. Is there anyone else that um, uh, like you guys kind of idolize, like besides the um, Rolling Stones? Like any other artists that you guys love that you kind of like followed in their style or anything like that? Or uh, yeah, we're 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 a mixed bag. We got influences all over the place. Uh, Bruce Springsteen over here. Um, yeah. Kiss. Uh, ACDC. Uh, Steve. What, what do you got? Nice, what do you, nice. what do you got? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just going to What do you got? What do you got? I like Nora Jones. Nora Jones, <laughs> yeah. You, can't, you can really hear her influence in our work. So, Steve, now you are the piano player. Yeah. Tell us about your, who were some of the people that you admired growing up, or what inspired you to want to um, play the piano? Uh, well, I had a piano in my house when mm -hmm. I was a kid, and I was just always playing it. Um, and then, over time, I started uh, trying to like play in bands and it wasn't really working with the piano, so mm -hmm. um, tried to pick up guitar and stuff. And by doing that, I ended up meeting them. Mm -hmm. And then they were looking for a keyboard player. So it uh, kind of happened like that. Okay. Yeah, I feel like, like it's like a great addition, you know, like a keyboard yeah. of the band. Uh, yeah, I, it sounds, yeah, it's got like a really great sound, like all around, so yeah. You're classically trained or something? It sounds, it sounds good. Uh, kind of. Yeah. <laughs> I'm close to it. So you need like different styles of music or you just basically? Yeah. Like them all. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, can you guys describe your sound, the Dead Flowers? What, is, what do you? How do you describe yourself as a sound? Uh, rock and roll. Okay. Done. Straight. Yeah. Period. Straight from. Uh, you know, we don't fake anything. It's straight from. Uh, Love it. What we feel. Mm -hmm. And uh, our songwriting is, I think, pretty much organic for the most part. Whatever we feel like jamming, we try to make a, into some type of idea. But it all comes from whatever we're feeling at the time. So. That doesn't explain rock and roll, no, it does. Mm -hmm. Is everybody in the band participating in the songwriting and, and all that? It's, it's all kind collaboration of collaboration like, type thing. Yeah. I mean, if uh, Zach comes to us with a riff or if Mike comes, up, uh, comes uh, to practice with a riff, we just keep jamming it. Maybe it forms into something, but yeah. Oh, all, yeah. Uh, Unfortunately, yeah, no one got to see Zach's like solos that he does at every show I go to. Like, where where does that energy come from? You just go out in the crowd. I think. Do you bite the strings on the guitar? Is that is that a thing? <laughs> No, I just like hit him against my teeth, bro. you know what I mean? Like, That's great. Like, just to get enough pressure to have the note I've never through. seen that like, in anyone other than you, like, yeah. Yeah, I mean, um, I don't know, a big part of the show is just like capturing people, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, getting them into it. And yeah. If I'm doing stuff like that, like, people are guaranteed to look, you know what I mean? So yeah. it's, it's kind of like why I do it. And, I love doing it, so you know what I mean? It's yeah. cool. It's like, it's literally impossible to go to one of their shows and not at least be snapping or tapping mm -hmm. or something. Like, I mean, they just, they literally like bring the house down when they go. They mm -hmm. rock and roll. I promise you that. So, Cheers. yeah. Speaking of those old rock and roll influences, see, I got my Motown hat on today. Oh, yeah. yeah, right on. <laughs> you know, my, in fact, my co host from the radio show, Mr. Larry Cotton, international music journalist, brought me, him and his wife uh, went to Detroit and got me right from the Motown Museum. But I want to talk about those old, early influences. I was looking at you guys' website and I saw, 
was it uh, Chuck Berry? Right, yeah, Tell yeah, us yeah. about the significance of that and, and how that ties in with, with well, what you're doing. He just really is the epitome of rock and roll, you know what I mean? Like, right. you can shred, you can sing. He was awesome. He, a big influence on one of my favorite guitarists, Keith Richards. And Keith always said that if you can play Chuck Berry, you can play along with the devil. So mm -hmm. I tried to learn Chuck Berry so I can learn really how to shred and help that into our music. And his music's really fun to play, so mm -hmm. it was like the jam it. And, yeah, he's definitely a big influence of ours. Boonton when he died. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, we were in um, Boonton when he died, and uh, we were on our way to a bar right before a show, and the, the venue has a, you're at, they had put like a screen, and they had pictures behind you, so we had ours as Chuck Berry, and a uh, little tribute to him for that show, because the same night he died, so it's pretty emotional for us, and yeah. we just like to uh, pay respects, you know? Definitely. Well, I definitely commend you guys for recognizing those early influences and early artists. Uh, so what's next for the Dead Flowers? You guys in the studio recording or new album coming out or working on some stuff? Uh, yeah, I mean, we're definitely trying to, trying to record ASAP. We just got to put some time into some new music and get some new ideas out and hopefully record by November, October. We don't really mm -hmm. have um, a date or anything set, but it's definitely the focus of ours. You had some new music just come out on Spotify, right? Like last week or uh, well, um, two weeks ago? Maybe? We, we had recorded that in, what, 2016, I think. And we, so we just put it on Spotify. Was, a bunch yeah. of people have been asking us for it, so we were like, oh, we'll put it up. Yeah, yeah. I was going to say, that was definitely some of the older stuff. But yeah, yeah. it's good that you're kind of getting a bunch of songs on Spotify because that's what I'm jamming to in the car. Yeah, yeah. 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 no, yeah, seriously. Lot, most Absolutely. people, like, they have Spotify or Apple Music or some kind of streaming service, so try to get on that stuff so people have like yeah. easy access to our music you know yeah where do you uh where do you guys like see yourself in like a few years like what are your goals like are you try trying to play at bigger world, venues dude. or yeah i mean yeah man yeah just trying to be the Mass best yeah, yeah msg something like that how many times have you played in new york i think you just um like are kind of are you branching out like slowly but surely to different parts yeah or I is it just so. a tri-state whatever comes our way we try to play you know what i mean we've played in new yeah. york like probably like, three or four times maybe yeah. five you know, cool. it's fun playing up there, especially when we can get some people to come out and have a good time. Yeah, and I try to come out to everyone who shows that I can, bring like a few people or whatever. But yeah, it's always a good time at their shows. Like their their live music is just so good. It's awesome. You know. You guys were just in the Philadelphia area recently, right? Performing. Yeah. yeah shows, so. uh, last week mm -hmm. we were down. Um, like kind of right? Yeah. Then yeah. We had a show in Brooklyn on. Uh, the, the next day, yeah. yeah. Okay, you can get the round, huh? Oh, that's a drive, yeah. man. Yeah. Now, does somebody like the designated driving person, or the, or the you have different role? Is each driver cool. a different role in the group? Yeah, uh, you know, yeah. yeah. that's me. Okay, we're, we're fortunate enough to have a beer jet. So. Uh -huh. <laughs> that's cool. Well, I appreciate you guys uh, stopping down to see us. Now, um, appreciate you having us. Absolutely. So, where are you, anything coming up in the future? Any uh, shows coming up in the area or anything? Um, not quite sure when this is going to get in. So, uh, yeah, we, this will be on TV. I mean, I guess if you're watching, then that doesn't really matter. Um, but, uh, yeah, we have some shows. <laughs> Always playing shows. Just keep an eye out for us. You can check us out on uh, the, uh, the deadflowers.net. That's mm -hmm. the T H E deadflowers.net. It's big. Uh, and it has all the links to all our social media mm -hmm. Instagram, Facebook, SoundCloud. Mm -hmm. Bandcamp, Spotify, you know, Tinder, Grinder, whatever the heck you want to read. So many Grindr things matter, Dana. <laughs> so many things, yeah, it's crazy. All right, well, we continue to keep live music alive, ladies and gentlemen. We want to, one more time, give a nice round of applause for the Dead Flowers. Yes. Thanks for coming, guys. That was awesome. Thank you, gentlemen. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Right. Tim Marshall with John, John Leone. John Leone, that's me. All right, R&B Showcase Live. Thank you.